What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. No, it's not going to be another comic haul video. I know you guys have been waiting for that. I am going to actually show you guys my top 20 favorite comic book covers of all time. Regardless of publishers. Um, it, could be it could be a gimmick cover or not, but basically I'm looking for the favorite art. Something that stands out. So be on the lookout for more exciting videos like this. In works is my top 10 favorite uh, artists. So without further ado, let's get started. Here we go. Keep in mind, there's no particular order. But I'll let you guys pick which one you guys think is the best. This is Uncanny X-Men number 213. As you can see, we have Sabretooth versus Wolf the Ring. Another very classic cover. They're always battling out. Gotta love those amazing battles between those two. And uh, I believe the art is by Arthur Adams. I am not positive about that because I can't see any of the signatures right there. But it looks like his style. Amazing book, by the way. All right, we get to, of course, <laughs> X Factor number six, a very iconic cover. With the very first appearance of Apocalypse. Um, if you guys haven't saw my video, it's funny how I found one of these copies. Um, one of them I own, another one I found at Goodwill for 49 skin and cents. I couldn't believe it. I believe they did another um, kind of cover similar to this for this year. I believe it's, I don't know if it's X Factor or something like that, but it's like basically an update of that. Very iconic. All right, we get to Thor, number 337 with the first appearance of Beta Ray Bill. What I love about this cover is that Beta Ray Bill is basically, you know, terrorizing the Thor logo right there, smashing into pieces, shows his power, shows his first appearance reception. Classic cover. And... Of course, with the Deadpool movie and the end credits, Deadpool set, next movie is going to star Cable. This is the very first appearance of Cable. This is the second printing. That's the first printing. Awesome art by Liefeld, Rob Liefeld and Todd McFarlane. Todd McFarlane being my favorite artist of all time. What I love about this cover is that first you have a very detailed Cable. And also these new mutants in sight really get shot at. Very nice covers. And of course, a must-have comic, <laughs> New Mutants of 98. I don't need to explain it further. Very first person of Deadpool. And also Domino. Art by Rob Liefeld once again. What I like about the cover is that, um, of course, a very detailed Rob Liefeld type of art with Deadpool shown in with his um, gun and sword drawn. You got Cable on there, all the new moons acting scared because they're about to get an ass kicked by Deadpool. Very nice. And we get to Iron Man number 282 with the very first appearance of War Machine. It's a very simple cover, but what I like is that War Machine graffiti just spray painted over Iron Man and it shows War Machine's heavy artillery as we all know his armor is a special type of Iron Man armor basically you know it's designed to kill and this one I was very fortunate to find in the half price books yes I paid <laughs> Cheap price for that, it was like half of $2.99, you know, $1.50. Planet Hulk, Incredible Hulk, number 92. What I like about this is that it's kind of like a stylized painting of Incredible Hulk, but we see him in armor that we've never seen before. We all know the Incredible Hulk is very powerful, but it looks like when he's in a different planet fighting these creatures, he needs some help from the armor and the shield, and he is terrorizing. Aliens all around the universe. I love this cover. 
And check this out, of course, with the upcoming Spider-Man movie. You guys know what's up. The main Spider-Man number 529, the very first appearance of his iron armor. As we all know, Tony Stark designed that armor to help him in the Civil War. I don't want to ruin any of the plots, but that's probably basically what he's going to be wearing. I like the art, and I also love how detailed his armor is with kind of like the Dr. Octopus type of um, tentacles right there. And it gives him plenty of super abilities, similar to Iron Man's. Gotta respect that. By the way, it's first printing. Alright, we get to this one is a must have. Main Spider Man number 361 with the very first appearance, full appearance of Carnage. Uh, art by Mark Bagley. I wouldn't say he's a top 10, probably like top 20. For some reason, this cover, um, it looks too. Too much 2D like, but I do love how Carnage is basically, you know, overwhelming Spider-Man, trapping him. It's just, it seems like something that could be glow in the dark. Very nice to have again. And next up, a very iconic cover, the main Spider-Man number 252 with the Venom alien symbiote costume. Uh, they made plenty of uh, comic book covers similar to this, kind of like a Deadpool one. What's iconic? It's not the best of art, but it's very iconic in the sense that it shows Spider-Man trying to help these two um, strangers swinging through New York City. Basically sums up Spider-Man's um, worth. And of course... Another Spider-Man must have, 362, first and second printing. You have all three very famous characters. You got Venom, Carnage, and Spider-Man, part of the Carnage um, storyline series. Mark Bagley art. Something about this cover that stands out is this pop solid at you. All right, and this one, and Kenny X-Men 282, very first appearance of Bishop. I actually drew the exact same cover. I'll show you guys the art next time. It took me like eight hours to draw, but that was my best artwork of all time. Will's Potassio, I believe, the artwork. One of my top 10 artists. So detailed, Bishop showing his powers with his, uh, with his other two teammates. And yes, it's another amazing Spider-Man. This one with Craven, Craven Hunt, Craven Hunt, one of the uh, better, one of the best. I mean, Spider-Man storylines. What's iconic about this cover is that you know, I guess the Spider-Man in his alien symbiote costume up in the roof with Craven trying to hunt him down. Very nice. While we at Craven's hunt. This one, it shows Craven basically um, finishing Spider-Man, knowing that he's going, he's already done for. This one, set in a cemetery style, and pretty nice artwork. I don't know who the artist is, but I like this cover for some reason. And yes, it's not all about Marvel. This is a Superman of Steel, number 19. You got Doomsday making Superman bleed. Not many supervillains has the power to do that, but Doomsday did. I like the artwork and I love how they represent it, showing how vulnerable Superman is when it comes to fighting Doomsday. And of course, you gotta have this. Infinity Gauntlet number one, I also drew this cover. You have Thanos, Death, Mephisto, Silver Surfer, and the rest of these amazing Marvel characters like Doctor Strange, Avengers, Spider-Man. All encompassed in that cover. It shows that um, they're all worried about Thanos' power, how he's going to rule the universe. So I'll be very excited with the Infinity War series movie coming out soon. 
And yes, another Amazing Spider-Man, number three. What I like about this cover is that you have a Spider-Man swaying through the city, it looks like in the background, then you, but you have Black Cat, you know, one of his uh, secret lovers, tearing through the page. I imagine that she is offer some retribution. Maybe that's um, Peter Parker doesn't you know, actually have any feelings for her or something like that. I forgot what the sterile line is, but nice artwork. Very nice standout cover. And this one is a very classic. Tom McFarlane art, Batman number 423. Um, I forgot what the sterile line was about, but what I love about the Tom McFarlane art is that it's more like a dreamy type of art, overemphasizing all the muscles and other body components. I love the red background with that yellow sun cover. You got your bat, you know, Batman with his oversized cape protecting the lady. Love it. All right, we are gonna get to. This one, Incredible Hulk number 377, many different printings. Um, this one is the Leon cover. What can I say? Top three cover of all time. You got Incredible Hulk, the Grey Hulk, by the way, which is smarter but less powerful. And, um, and with that Leon background and that Violet's Incredible Hulk logo, it just makes it stand out so much. I love it. All right, last but not least, I guess this would be like my version of a number one. Rye, representing Valiant Comics, number zero. Very simple artwork, very simple cover, but what it shows is a silhouette of Rye with his uh, gun and sword. This is a collector's must-have. Valiant Comics, underrated publisher. Back then, they had the best storylines ever. Maybe not the best art, because that was overtaken by Image. What can I say? A collector's must-have. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Expect more of these type of videos. Um, not just kind of haul. You know, I'll be doing like um, maybe my top 10. Uh, Marvel covers, top 10 DC covers, and favorite artists, favorite writers, all that good stuff. Have a great weekend. Happy collecting.